Hey, what's up? It's Ninja Nanas. I'm on Sky Spire 2, floor 43 in the seventh tower. What you're going to need here is water, honored, spirit, and fable. There is no Aegis, but the health is kind of high. Um, so you're obviously going to want to use the best cards you can, the best setup you have, and whatever. This is definitely not going to be a one-shot deal, so don't plan on that. All right, so... What, um, let's see. The attack is 23,059. The health is 554,904,006. And the defense is 115,606. So for honored, here I could use this team. I mean, I'm short a card, but I just stick in that, that six card there to fill in the space um spirit i am probably not going to use any of these guys no those are more reserved for like the scary ages type floor um or fear whatever you want to call it and fable um i have that team there um i think i'm gonna go with that because it's in here somewhere. I'm going to guess here. So, let's see. By the time I find it, I could have put it together. No, nope, here it is. Okay. <clears throat> so, where is it? It's in group two and the third one. Um, wait a minute. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought I just did something really stupid, but I didn't. All right, so it's group two. It would have been nice if it started me where I left off, but of course not. This deck um, is pretty easy to use. It um, It's mostly, it activates when you get attacked. Um, uh, stuff like that. This one applies heartbreaks up to three Water Slayer heroes and at a rate of one plus one additional per 150 skill points. That makes two water gem twos and dispels one enemy debuff, which has doesn't matter in, in the spire. Um, once per turn, when hit by enemy, creates two power gem twos and dispels one enemy debuff. Okay, so actually, let's um, use the honored team. I think I'll do that instead because this one's pretty straightforward, and um, instead of like lining up with the other one. Um, activating when your your cards when you get hit along with when you apply things you know you know what I'm saying and this one I filled in here destroys all non water gems and attacks for a very insignificant amount um, this deck's pretty much a lot easier to use it creates up to six power gem fours at a rate of two plus one additional per seventy five water slayer skill points and heals for a little bit um, increases water slayer attack and um, same thing here, creates up to six power gem fours at a rate of two plus one additional, and there are five turns, except for, I think she is three turns. So, um, I'll get that all together. And then relics down here, um, water slayer relic, uh, technological relics, um, and, you know, they, I don't have relics that really match up with them except for this right here and then Keta's bow. So, with that said, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> okay. Turn the sound off. Okay, um, so go with this. <clears throat> I just gotta keep an eye on my health. She's not gonna hit me for six turns, so. And she's not even get a chance to. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that to happen. All right. I wouldn't count that as the first hit. It wasn't the relic hit, so. Let's see what we got. Okay. 
All right, so I'll see you next time for the next floor. Um, Have a good night, day, or afternoon.